Post-traumatic stress disorder has become an epidemic in the veteran community. An artist captures the struggle in a new portrait series called Depicting the Invisible. Jess Arnold got a tour of that exhibit in the Army and Navy Club with two vets who are facing those demons every day. The facial expressions, the eyes say so much. These pictures are awesome. These are telling our story. I mean, they're amazing. Ended up going into recon and then force recon in the Marine Corps. I always say I was in the wrong place at the right time for 30 years. I did 17 years in the Army. Was medevaced out of my second deployment in Afghanistan. A suicide bomber had came into a riot that we tried to contain. My brain just flipped. We need to shine a light on this epidemic of PTSD and suicide. Feels. More so of them die in one year than died in 10 years of right. both wars. And one day I just said I had enough. I sat down on my couch and um, yeah, I was ready to check out. I had my weapon loaded. Um, this great dude <laughs> kept bringing me his tennis ball. And I truly believe he was trying to tell me, Mom, I got you. It's much easier to get help and support for an injury that you can see versus an invisible wound of war. So my mission here is to give these veterans a voice. Let me show you one. I joined the Army after college because I wanted to be a medic. I wanted to save people in Africa. But God has other plans for us. A star soldier raped me. Yeah, that's like looking in a mirror. I got back from Desert Storm and my squad leader had uh, sexually assaulted me and I got a local biller to re-enlist and I was put out of the army. Mm. They gave me a plane ticket back to the States and I had no home. I'm really fighting the tears right now. I've never told anyone that and he right now is whining because he's playing off of my nerves. People have to talk about the things that are eating them up from inside and you have to listen, and you have to be there. Even if it breaks your heart, you need to be there. It's the human connection that, that saves the lives. 